looks like quicksand. Welcome to hell. My name is Tommy. I'm from North Jersey, and I'm a construction worker. Being in construction is pretty difficult, and in the summer it gets even more difficult because of the heat and everything else. But what keeps me totally going through that summer heat is knowing that I'm going to spend that weekend at the Jersey Shore. Think about the weekend every day I'm here. It's to realize there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Because if I had to be here seven days a week, God, forget it. I'd go crazy. I've been going down to the Jersey Shore uh, since I'm probably about two years old. And all growing up, I always remember seeing people going into the clubs, and it looked like they were having such a blast. And I just always, all my life, looked up and said, I can't wait to the day that I get into this club scene and, and just be able to go out and party like these people can party. Well, let's figure out what the hell we're going to wear this weekend. Got to have clean drawers. The Jersey Shore, I guess, is basically probably the biggest meat market in the world. Um, and I think everyone goes down there pretty much for the same reason. It's just to dance, get drunk, have a good time, and, and hook up. I don't care what you look like. If you got game, if you don't have game, you can still find somebody. <laughs> a lot of guys do just find somebody. You know, unfortunately, I'm looking for something a little deeper than that. I just got out of a three and a half year relationship in which I was engaged to someone um, and things really didn't work out. The breakup with my ex was the absolute most painful thing that I've ever been through in my life. I'm really looking to just get out and just really get nuts for a while. And hopefully in that time I can find the woman who just completes me so I can kind of, I guess, just settle down and start my life. Uh, and last but not least is my whoopee. This blanket my mother made for me when I was a baby, and um, for some reason I just can't get rid of it. It uh, gives me peace, comfort, and I guess, I guess it's a security blanket. What can I say? Now it's time to hit the road. It's the calm before the storm right now. About to get out to Parkway South. That's where the adventure begins every weekend. Parkway South, baby. Straight to the shore. 75 exits, and we're there. One thing that's great about the Jersey Shore is, although it's only an hour and a half away from where I live, it's actually kind of like you're going into a different world. And once you go over that bridge, everything just changes. Summer share is basically when a bunch of people get together and they pool their money together to rent a house for the whole summer. In our case, our uh, two of our friends actually bought a house, so then we all just chip in with them for, you know, food, we pay them some rent. It's pretty good we don't have a landlord to bother us, so uh, we're pretty pumped up about it. You want to soap up my back? Then I'll soap up yours. I got the front. You got the front then? Yeah. Who's going to soap up my back then? Anthony's got the back. Anthony! Technically, in our house, we have eight people that are there every weekend. They're regulars. Um, however, every weekend, though, uh, more people wind up coming down. So the next thing you know, what we had eight people jammed in four bedrooms. Now we have 20 to 30 people jammed in four bedrooms with one bathroom. Chaos. Total chaos. In the house, here's Anthony. I always look for a long-term relationship, but that's the type of man I am. <laughs> He's uh, pretty much the clown in the house. I'm just like... That's Jeff. He uh, he's usually the quiet guy. There's Mike. He's pretty much uh, always cleaning the house. And then there's Michelle, Mike's girlfriend, and she's pretty much the mother of the house. This house is a disgusting mess. I mopped twice, and the floor is still disgusting. Also, there's Skinny. There's old school Kim. There's cousin Vinny. And then there's always the other Michelle who's always ironing. Everyone, I'm not. I will not be attending merge tonight because I'll be ironing everyone's. She always uh, kept our clothes nice and tidy. Hey, Tommy, I'm wearing your pet You're gonna wear my baby pants? No, I'm wearing white pants. I don't white, wear pants. white pants on a girl are phenomenal. Yes. Except when you, if it's your girlfriend, she no, can't I wear the white pants. They're too revealing. You see the thumb right through the pants. Oh, now, so I don't want no man looking at my woman's ass. You're right, you're right. And getting off on Wait, that. Wait, so, so then, so what I you're saying is you're not like What's your girlfriend is mine. Why, why does it matter? You're going home with it. You're gonna be tapping at the end of the night. So why does it matter if I'm staring? So I'm like, do you have it though? Yeah, so what? So, it's so you. I'm supposed to be okay with a guy going home and gonna <laughs> off to the throat of my girlfriend's ass? That's what well, I do. I used to do it. That's not right. Don't look at my girl's ass. You see me with her. What do I look like? A punk? I'll break your <laughs> neck. Tommy, he's off the wall. He's bonkers. You'd think there's something mentally wrong with him, but he's not. He's got one of the biggest hearts out of anybody I've ever met in my life. He would give you the shirt off his back if it was the last shirt he had. Okay, wild like a. <laughs> 
tonight. This, this is on Saturday night, Seaside. I'm getting crazy. It's on. To watch a good fellas on the way out. Get yourself a little pumped up. Get a little motivation for tonight. Down there, I guess we have a ritual that goes on pretty much the same schedule every weekend. Now, here's how we do in the club. We pass the line right off. Usually at around 11 o'clock, we all uh, wind up going to our favorite club. First, we hit the bar. Then we should go about the lady situation. We should go about the dance floor situation. And I'd say within about 15 minutes of us entering the club, we own the bar, we own the dance floor, and we own every woman in the club. So I'm out this night. I'm having a good time, drinking, dancing my ass off, having a really good time. And I just see this girl staring at me. She kind of got my style, you know, she had the black Corleone hat on, you know, we were dancing, we were kicking it, everything was going good. So I hang out with her most of the night, and um, then I go to the bathroom, and when I come back, I can't find her. I like her, I like her a lot, but I can't stop thinking about her, and I'm gonna find her tonight. It's 3.30 right now in the a.m., and I will find her before this night's over, and this night ain't over till about and 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. My thumbs. When the clubs finally close, we usually go over to a place called Steaks Unlimited, go get some steak sandwiches and, and some cheese balls. Cheese balls, cheese balls, cheese balls and steak sandwiches. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is what I do. Like, I just see how it turns into like little flakes. Pop it in and just let it dissolve. I need a moment of silence. 